Well, hello and welcome to the Lockhart Radio Podcast. I am your host, Felicia Lockhart, and today we are looking at the attack going against and for. So I guess there's a little bit of a tug of war, if you will, for the 340B drug program. Johnson & Johnson doesn't seem to be happy, and the hospitals don't seem to be happy. We're going to get right into that story, but before we do, I'd like for you to please hit the like button, the subscribe as well. You can also share this out and you can also become a channel member. Well, it would appear that there is a bit of a discussion on the table right now because the hospitals are protesting Johnson & Johnson's plan changes to the 340 drug discounts. It's the 340B government program. Hospitals are pushing back against Johnson & Johnson's planned changes to price breaks through the federal 340B drug discount program. Johnson & Johnson is planning to change its policy on the two drugs, Zarelto, which is a blood thinner, as well as Stellara, a drug for Crohn's disease and colitis. Instead of giving hospitals in the 340B program reduced prices at the time they make the purchase, Johnson & Johnson says hospitals will now need to submit applications for rebates and the company will reimburse them. The company is making the new policy effective this October the 15th of 2024. Both Zarelto and Stellara are among the first group of drugs subject to Medicare price negotiations by the Biden administration. Health systems want the pharmaceutical giant to continue to offer the lower prices through the program without the added task of applying for the reimbursements. They say the company plans to shift the administration to the administration of the price breaks are improper, and they're asking the government for help. The American Hospital Association and America's Essential Hospitals are urging the federal government to take action. Hospitals say the drug companies are overcharging the hospitals in the 340B drug pricing program, which provides discounts on drug prices for hospitals within a higher percentage with patients of lower income as well as the underserved communities. Chad Golder is the general counsel for the American Hospital Association. He wrote in a letter to the Health Resources and Services Administration asking the agency to prevent Johnson & Johnson from implementing the policy. Golder wrote that the company is upending the practice it followed for 30 years. Quote, Johnson & Johnson is yet again engaging in 340B vigilantism. He wrote this in a letter to the government. Hospitals say that Johnson & Johnson is instituting the new rebate policy to offset a drop in revenue since it'll soon have to charge Medicare patients less for Zarelto and Stellara. Golder called it a tit-for-tat response. Quote, Johnson & Johnson's adoption of this rebate model is yet another example of a drug company seeking to squeeze every possible penny from the hospitals and health systems that care for America's underserved patients, Golder added. Bruce Siegel is the MD, President and CEO of America's Essential Hospitals, and he wrote in a separate letter to the HRSA that the policy will hurt hospitals as well as patients, saying, quote, Johnson & Johnson's proposed rebate model is nothing less than an attempt to line drug companies' pockets at the expense of patient care. Under the proposal, 340B eligible hospitals would be required to purchase drugs at higher list prices and then wait for the manufacturer to distribute a rebate to receive the statutorily required 340B price. Such a delay imposes meaningful, a meaningful economic hardship on essential hospitals, many of which are, um, many of which have limited cash on hand. <laughs> you know, I don't know, you guys, because it seems to me they are not liking the rebate program that most companies have asked you and I as consumers to deal with for quite some time. Now, hospitals are chafing under the prospect of delays or potential denials of lower prices for the two popular drugs. Johnson & Johnson plans to review the application of hospitals to ensure they're eligible for discounts in the 340B program and will then send the rebates after confirming their eligibility. While it may seem like a minor change to the process, hospitals will face higher administrative costs in complying with Johnson & Johnson's policy, Golder wrote. Quote, 
This flies in the face of Congress intent in establishing the 340B program and could jeopardize patients' access to these drugs. In addition, disproportionate share hospitals, which already operate on the thinnest of margins, will be forced to develop pricey administrative mechanisms to make and track rebate requests, close quote. In the notice announcing the new policy, Johnson & Johnson said, quote, it remains deeply committed to the 340B program. We believe this update will significantly improve program integrity while at the same time enabling covered entities to obtain the 340B price on eligible 340B sales, closed quote. The Health Resource and Services Administration has told Johnson & Johnson that the rebate policy doesn't reflect 340B regulations and hasn't been approved by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the AHA said. Hospitals have been wrestling with drug companies over the 340B drug, uh, drug program more and more in recent years. In this past May of 2024, the U.S. Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C. ruled in favor of two drug companies in a dispute over the 340B drug program pricing. As well, hospitals have argued that drug companies are improperly putting restrictions on drugs in the program. Hospitals have said the 340B program provides essential support to help patients from disadvantaged communities in urban as well as rural areas. It's always the urban and the rural areas. Now, hospitals have fought back with the government, reduced the 340B payments several years ago, taking their case to the U.S. Supreme Court and winning a unanimous decision from the high court. Conversely, drug companies and some patient advocates say 340B program has grown beyond its intended purpose of helping hospitals with a high volume of patients with lower incomes. Critics include the Alliance of Integrity and Reform of 340B have argued that hospitals participating in the 340B program aren't delivering enough charity care. Critics have also argued that patients aren't seeing sufficient discounts on drug prices. So there you have it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you believe that this is going to cause a problem for the drug companies? Or do you think that this is going to be something that the patients will have to wear on their sleeves? Do you believe that perhaps the patients will have to pay the higher price and maybe the hospital will require them to receive a rebate when they get the rebate from the drug company or the government? However, they're going to work this out. Let me know what you think. For Headlines with a Voice. This has been the Lockhart News Brief. The Lockhart Perspective.